Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use a GMT watch. First, a GMT function on a watch allows you to track another time zone aside from your local time. And with the Grand Seiko Spring Drive GMT, we can track up to three separate time zones. GMT stands for Greenwich Mean Time, which is the world's standard time zone that is located at Earth's zero degree line of longitude or the meridian. It is also known as UT or Universal Time. Today, you don't have to be a pilot to have a GMT watch because anyone can benefit from tracking multiple time zones. So let's jump right in. Today's example is with the Grand Seiko Spring Drive GMT reference SBGE201. Off the bat, the main functions of this watch is the local time, which you have as your regular hour. You have the date, which is right here. You have the GMT hand, which is nicely displayed in red, so it's easy to read, which is also known as your home time. And then you have the sapphire crystal bezel around, which represents 24 hours, and that can be used to track our third time zone. Right now, the time in my room is 3.07 p.m. in New York, and we are in the Eastern Daylight Time. What I'm going to do is set my GMT hand to the current time at home. This is also going to be known as our home time, which is denoted by the red GMT. So the first thing you want to do is unscrew the crown so we can operate the time. Once you unscrew the crown, pull to the second position so that way you'll stop the seconds hand and now we can control the GMT and the minute hand. Um, you'll notice that the out current hour hand is also moving, just ignore that for now. So based on this uh, chapter ring on the inside here, or you can also use a sapphire crystal bezel, we're going to set it to 3.07 p.m. So right now it's at 14, so that would be 2 p.m. and one more hour would be 15, which is known as 3 p.m. So 3.07, right? And I'm going to push that in. So right now, uh, local time for me in New York, I'm not traveling anywhere. Based on my home time, it's 15, which is 3.07 p.m. And actually my current hour time is correctly to 3 p.m. So also 3 p.m. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to hop on a plane and go over to California. And right now in California, I know that it is three hours behind. I know that it's actually 12.07 p.m. So what I'm gonna do is pull out the crown to the first position now. And at this time, the second hand will continue to run and I can independently move the hour hand. Now, I had previously had it at 3 p.m. So I gotta move three, uh, three hours prior to 12. So one, two, three. So now, I push that crown back in. I'm not gonna screw it in for this example. And the red GMT hand shows 3 p.m. in New York. And in California, it shows it is 12 p.m. What I'm gonna do now is add a third time zone in here. So the time zone I'm gonna choose is Tokyo, Japan, as it seems fitting for Grand Seiko. So in Tokyo, I know it's 4 a.m. So all I have to do is move this sapphire crystal bezel so that it matches where this red GMT hand. And what I mean is, I want this red GMT hand to show 4 a.m. So that way, no matter what time, I can read you know, three time zones simultaneously. So I'm gonna move this sapphire crystal bezel, I'm rotating it, and now I have it set. So right here, uh, the red GMT hand is pointing to 15, 3 p.m. in New York. Current time is pointing to 12 in California. And in Tokyo, right now it is 4 a.m. So now I've tracked three time zones. And that was, you know, very simple to do without using any kind of GMT minus plus. 